out of that pick and roll with his decision making the floater in the first half and another one there here's a steal by weatherspoon chase down from behind oh! and when you get on the court you get close up on the court as you see him with ben with the steer right there to see how he's going to pay it off and, and one finish. style using that long frame that i'm talking about 36 points Record-setting pace. Good puff fake. Give me the paint. Oh, my God. Got to get Kirk with the assist, and that's a pretty one on the dunk by Eve Pond. But part of this this Phoenix group is just out here bringing it defensively and <laughs> converting <laughs> offense. That was a beautiful finish. Mack <laughs> McClung with the ball in his hands. Pull-up jumper from the elbow. Oh, Floater no good. There's Wiseman, and he'll be fouled going up and one. Here's Williams. A bully ball. Nice move. Can't get the finish. Yeah, got himself a little bit too far behind the backboard for that hook shot. Cooper on the drive. Lays it in. That's, and that's He'll go to the free throw line. Showing up, sitting courtside, supporting the Summer League team. Oh, well, it meant a lot. And, and, and when I played Summer League in Orlando, it wasn't quite the event that this was. His frustrations with not getting that new contract. So a uh, lot still to be determined when you talk about the soap opera that's becoming here with the Phoenix Suns. Not a bad way to get things going for Phoenix. Our thanks to both coaches being wired up for this game. Los Angeles Clippers Summer League head coach Sean Font for the Lakers. Jordan, ah, there's the flush by Paris Bat. Got to settle down, start getting good looks. Here's Hill on the drive, trying to get a good look. And, and he's going to get an and one. I don't think that's what they drew up. But it would have been tough to crack that rotation anyways. And that's a great point, Megan, because a lot of times, that's a really nice pass there by Nemar. Really interesting to see how he's going to play with Kaminga. He is a lob threat every time he's on the floor. And you saw in that interview with George, just, oh, Kevin Gelly, and one. You know, he's thrilled to be back on the basketball court. He tore his Achilles back in 2020 and has been working his way back. And there's a strong move. Boston, there's that in and out dribble. He is so tough in transition. The feet or the eyes of Phoenix's defense. And that's why every shot they get, in essence, has been contested. Austin will try again. He'll make it. Making a mess here at half court. Shot clock is under 10. End of the game for the first time is Chandler. Good defense. And a nice block inside by Sharp. Good defense. 8 0 run for Atlanta. Oh, nice step throw. Smart with the bucket. They didn't sit back and wait to see what was going to happen. They made sure the other team felt them early on. It's going to be all Thomas here. Step through two. Spinning fader. Got him with a 1.8 on the clock. That's tough. So something to feel good about heading to the locker room for the Brooklyn Nets. Christian Coloco, what have you like in his game? Oh, I think, you know, just the growth you saw over the three years at Arizona, I think he ended up being Defensive Player of the Year and probably one of the best defensive players in the whole country. So, The D by the Celtics. Shot clock down to seven for Moody. Spinning, finishing at the rim. Nice take to the bucket. You to get into an offensive flow, and that's an example of it right there. Jackson on the move. Oh, that's a goodness hammer. Gracious. When you get into the shot blocker's body, it negates their shot blocking ability. Look up, you got numbers. There's Malcolm Hill running and throwing it down with two hands. I played with a teammate that used to do the exact same thing, Antoine James. He was so great at just floaters and touch shots, quick release. Not saying that Tillman is Antoine, but. Yeah. Lakers are spreading the floor, trying to go the pick and roll with Kalea Jones. Pierre Louis. Goes to his right. Oh, what a tough finish. Memphis kind of stiff-armed him. He's done so with an 8-0 run. Gates with a deep bomb. A plus 21 in this ball game. Armani Brooks knocks down the tray for Toronto. Now joined here at our broadcast position by the head coach of the Memphis Grizzlies, the NBA Coach of the Year in Waiting, Taylor Jenkins.